All right, this game's brought to you by Ubisoft Entertainment. That's great. No. DreamWorks. <laughs> Dream. That's a really weird looking fucking cover. Lumpy Space Princess, Princess. Productions. Clearly. Obviously. <laughs> and an entire planet of Lumpy Space Princesses, mind you. Oh it, it, shit. <laughs> it was on you. You fucking I hate how this bike works! Not doing it anymore. Alright, never mind. Nope, too late. Too late, we're doing this. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to uh Let's Play Only Once with Pat forgot to turn the fucking mic on! <laughs> I, I fixed it. I, I fixed it. I fixed it. <laughs> Also, now. seriously, welcome to Gold and Glory, the road to El Dorado. Okay, first I love the intro screen because the because freaking his face is like, let me tell you why that's bullshit. <laughs> oh really? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm still standing by my grounds that the guy on the right looks like a brunette guy brush threepwood. And like, maybe yeah. two of you will understand. Hey look, it's mighty the armadillos. <laughs> hey, it's a mouse wearing a backpack. What's a Yubi key? Oh, you can connect to others. A god! Cause, oh, <laughs> a god, that's a god. Because, you know, I've always wanted to connect games for, you Julio know, Rodel Dorado. Are too adventurous. <laughs> Award winning story writing right here. They earn their living by fighting fake duels. Now, which, which one's which? Miguel uh, and Tulio. Tulio and Miguel. <laughs> Tulio and Miguel learn that a map torn in six pieces, pieces. That's not the movie. Leads to this a treasure sucks. in the city of El Dorado. <laughs> El Dorito. <laughs> El Dorito. <laughs> El Taco Bell. You know the nacho kind. <laughs> <laughs> is it just me or does he now look like Jesus? Jesus, what the fuck happened to his face? <laughs> I don't know. Now he's brunette. The the second Miguel, I think his name is, lost his mouth. Like half his teeth are a different color. Level 1, the Spanish Village. Good name. I'm actually, I'm seriously, I'm really digging the music. Choose uh, your character. Screw Tulio. You, that's not Tulio. This is Miguel. I that's said Miguel. screw Tulio. Oh, I thought you said let's do Tulio. Those are humongous. Um, I forgot about that. Jesus fucking Christ, those coins. What, they're, what are you climbing on? Clouds. <laughs> I'm currently climbing on clouds. That's a snake. That is a snake. In a cloud. Oh, you got a weapon. <coughs> what is your, it's like, attack? What the hell is... I think it's what a sword. Are you, like, it's a rapier! You're hitting with a fucking yardstick? Wow! It's supposed to be a rapier, but Game Boy graphics can only go so far. But how hard is it to make a stick? Sword. Stick sword. Done. Hold on, get up there. Why are you? I'm surprised that this is for the Game Boy. Like, um, is that, the graphics are actually, they're not that terrible. Yeah. But I'm thinking, like, did, when did the Game Boy Advance also, come out? The, what's with the X mark? What? Okay, we're inside a building. He snuck in through a window when apparently the door was open the entire time! No, I opened, I went through the door. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, it looked like you went through the window. Let's take everybody's money. Way... Because I'm such a witty character, they don't care. Welcome to the town where apparently people don't own furniture. They just keep all their money in bags in the house. And that is quite literally it. Apparently, you know, they they talked to consultants of Zelda. They thought it was a good idea. <laughs> furniture? Nah, you guys don't need that. Just put bases of your money everywhere. Bowls. Did I? Lots this? and lots of bowls. That time I did. Yeah. yeah. It seems like it's very hard to go into the windows. You don't go into the windows. Then what did you go into before? The door! Ah! Ah! It lied to me! It's a snake! It's a snack! Can you attack while ducking? I don't know. I'm going in here, though. Coins first. Coin. That, <laughs> that one a coin! A singular coin. Oh. More coins. It just sounded like you failed miserably. I kind of like how, I kind of like how this is you a unique kind of platformer game. It's pretty Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. It's like not. It's not bad so far. It's not bad. However, it wrong. doesn't look like there's a lot of perspective, like it's what you can and can't jump on. 
We also like, have, maybe that's just me. I'm not playing. Well, we also have to remember that usually games are designed on kids' movies, like anything based on DreamWorks. They're usually just going to appeal to kids, where there's not much that they have to do to make a kid go, Oh, God! This is a fun game! But for us, they did sort of incorporate that platforming is a little difficult. <laughs> he jumped! <laughs> I do like how even for the Game Boy game, they actually designed the graph, the pixels, so that his hair actually goes back when he's running. Oh yeah, this is kind of like okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Mitchell, what are you trying to do? Get up on that roof. I don't think he can. You can't jump that high. <laughs> Mitch, th there's a certain arc that this is only isn't designed. This is working for you. I think I can run across these. Not. No. Wahoo! It's not like Aladdin, where you can somehow magically run across clotheslines. DreamWorks, keeping it real! Uh, that's like, that's just impeccable balance. Crap. Mitchell, what the fuck I'm are you- I'm trying to get every single coin slash thingy. That's- Bulls live in houses! You honestly think that we're completionists here on this show? I love this game. <laughs> you love this game until it apparently gets to, like, one part. Said it, like, apparently there's one impossible jump that you- Oh, cool. Is it? Oh, cool. Can't get in there. Ah, oh, snake! That's oh, jumping down, dude. <laughs> Snakes lunge. I don't think they jump really. You know, it's like it's kind of like Castlevania. You have a certain jump arc you must do, and your sword only has so much distance. Yeah, but you can control where you're jumping, right? Like once you jump in a direction, you can turn around. Mitch, can you control your jump? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, then it's nothing like Castlevania. With Castlevania, you literally have to buy an engagement ring for your fucking jump. Yeah. It's yeah. like you gotta settle down with your jump bar, think about, you know, kids, say all the right words, you know. Is there severe falling damage, Mitchell? Um, you only so. have one life. Or one health point left. Yeah, you have one health point, three lives. I don't even know what the health point is. Is it just a yeah. circle? It's like nothing significant or anything to do with Road to El Dorado. You just stabbed that kind gentleman in the back and he did nothing to you. Well, they're thieves. They don't care. They don't care. You're thieves, not murderers. You found a piece of the map. Good job. Did you, did you see that little animation? Oh, I enjoyed getting the map so much. The Spanish Marketplace. Uh, let's play Scooby-Doo. Is his attack any different? No, good, okay. Oof! Oh, his health is so there's really no So there's really no difference between the two characters? You can just choose? Oh, that's the kind of, that's the kind of way I like it. I mean, yeah, true. they can each have unique skills, but I don't like one being genuinely worse than the other. Because yeah. then you're always just going to pick that one player. I suppose that this way you mix it up. Although I wonder, if you run out of lives with with one of the characters, can you just switch to the other one, or is it just like really lose three? The game Adventures over? of Tulio. My partner is now dead. <laughs> <laughs> Make a cover for that. <laughs> just put X's over Miguel's eyes. <laughs> just replace. Or like replace him with a tombstone. Oh no, he died because somebody threw a tombstone at him. It's like embedded in his head. <laughs> That's okay. He's gonna just gonna team up with Shell anyway. Erner. <laughs> Giant ass hips. I like big hips. Ooh, that's snake! Life. Oh, it was a snake. I was like, <laughs> I totally thought you said ooh, an extra snake. <laughs> Mitch was looking for snakes the whole time. Get down. <laughs> Get down on the dance floor. We'll, we'll turn it off. Yeah. Was it like a thousand to an extra life? Um, I guess, I don't know. Now, it's kind of steep, but with how much gold they lay, they, like, leave laying around, it's not yeah. like... Awesome. It's like Mario coins at this point. It's like, look at all the coins! Yeah, coins! Heck. <laughs> also, every uh, time I see one of those little X's on the side of a building, I think that the building's, like, hurt, and it's like a band-aid covering something. It's like somebody threw Like, we're, like, in actually in, like, the Spanish ghetto, and it's like, just, those are just band-aids oh. covering up bullet holes in the wall. You, you can jump on the bulls, that's Yeah, without, without damage, too. Well, that's kind of cool. Sort of gets you out of trouble. Maybe sometimes there's... Aww. Okay, no falling damage, because... Well, I gotta get up there. That yeah. definitely would have killed a human no, being don't. on that kind of yeah. fall. <laughs> also, I'm noticing that the jump arcs are a little bit weird, and yet even sometimes when Mitchell lands on a platform, he just goes straight through. Yeah. Or maybe that's just my perspective. Maybe I'm wrong. Who would have thought that it would take a Road to El Dorado game to actually make us become serious game commentators? I like this game. 
I'm just waiting for his apparently unbeatable part that Mitchell's gonna get to. Yeah. Also, I'm I'm curious as to what's actually in those bags. Is it gold or is it a ghost? Because every because every time oh. no because every time you pick it up it goes boo. Oh yeah, hey, listen, it's the sound design. Woo! Boo! <laughs> I'm a coin ghost. Here's some coins. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. I am the ghost of Uncle Scrooge. 